My daughter beautiful and she's... Why did you pause? Because I'm thinking different way. She's cute. Pause. Hello, honey. So, I recently was divorced. And the one thing I hear from people who have heard me talk about my divorce is, why is she always talking about him? Why is she always going backwards? Listen, I was married for 14 years. I was dating for four of those years, married for 10 of those years. That's a huge part of who I am today. So when I talk about it, it's really describing what I'm doing moving forward, not necessarily about him. It has nothing to do with him. I'm not throwing any shade that way because I wish him the very best. Does that make sense? Comment below, because I know you will. When I signed the divorce papers, this is a true story, I walked out of my attorney's office. I took a deep breath and I threw up all over the floor. I had to run to the bathroom and get a bunch of paper towels and like mop up all my crap because it was just so emotional. Memories, um, ugh, tacky things like finances. It was just, it was really bad. Even though it hurt and it was kind of like that last jab of like, ugh. I walked out of there and I was like, okay, this is good. I'm gonna be all right. Got in my car and drove home. As soon as I walked in the doors of this house right here, the house that I bought myself with my hard earned money, I just looked at it and said, this is not my home. This is a part of my past. In that year and a half of getting through the divorce, I changed and grew and forced myself to shed that shell so much that when I walked in this house, boom, I felt like I was right back in my marriage. A lot of things in this house remind me of that time in my life, like this couch. We talked about divorce on this very couch. Um, these floors, we picked, you know, this, this carpeting together. Um, a lot of the things that are hanging up are things that we bought together. So it's not to say that it's a negative thing. It's just a part of my past that I've moved from. There's this one quote I heard a while back. When a flower has failed to bloom, do you blame the flower or do you blame its environment? Do you change the soil? Do you water it more? Maybe it needs more sun or light. Comment below if that's something that you can relate to when it comes to maybe a past relationship that you're just getting out of like myself. Maybe you've lost a loved one and the house reminds you of that, that old place. Or maybe you yourself are growing or need to grow out of a stage that you've been stuck in. I don't know if you got stuffed animals on your bed or maybe you've got pictures of NSYNC. No shade to NSYNC, but like, come on now. You know what I mean? Like, what is going on in your house that is not helping you thrive or elevate yourself to the next level? So that's where I'm at. Let me know where you're at because then I can help you more. And I love pictures. If you have any pictures, of crazy things in your house. Don't hold back, friend. I'm gonna be checking them out. There's a lot of things I gotta do, but before we go big, we gotta start small. This house is still a part of me, but I just need to freshen it up to bring new life into it. New life. I just want a new energy. That's what I'm most excited about. What do I call it? It's not a makeover. What would I call this? I'm gonna call it spouse cleaning. It's going to be me going through my house, picking out things that either need to go or have a right to stay. I'm gonna need your help on this. Tell me, is it treasure or is it trash, honey? I'm gonna show you some things. You're gonna keep it 100 and we're gonna get through this together, okay? My acrylics are ready. Let's do this. Let's start with these. These are coasters, obviously. These are my exes. Um, he got them in South Africa. I don't know much more beyond that. I think they look kind of chintzy. They actually um, don't do a great job because they leave scratches on the table. They're from Africa. Yeah, they're from they're Africa, Mom. something like Well, that. they're actually not from Africa because the tag says they're from China. Keep that. That's a zebra. That's a horse. You always run all the time you never home. That's to represent you. Okay, so Mama Mai thinks due to Chinese horoscope, I was born on the year of the horse. She wants to keep this. She never throws anything away. She even saves my eyelashes when I throw them away. She's that woman who hoards. I don't want to do that. I think we should trash this. Mama Mai thinks we should treasure it. What do you think? Vote below. I say trash these. That animal is look cute. Anyway. If it look cute, you take it for you. Next, this. Um, it's a clock. It has not had a working battery since 2014. It doesn't have the correct time. I'm always late, so this isn't helping. And it's made out of plastic. It's really cheap. It doesn't do anything. It just takes up space on the wall, and he picked it. So I personally think we can move this on to maybe like a nice family portrait, something with a beautiful gold frame, maybe a gold clock that actually works, if anything. Something more meaningful. And me. Put in a library. Lamp. What? Put in a library. That's what good. library do you think we have? We will make up something library. Don't worry. That's look good. Vote. Trash or treasure? 
to change the battery. Mom. I'm trying to make a sound that elk make. Okay. That's a ghost. Yeah. That's not a goat, Mom. That was an elk. Um, okay, so these are antlers. These are real antlers. Now, listen up. I actually really love taxidermy. I, I love the look of it. It's rustic. It's a little dark. These are my exes. I like them. I actually would paint these gold and keep them. But then I wonder, my friends are like, don't keep anything, you're supposed to move on, you're supposed to cleanse. It's not that I want everything gone of his, like if it's dope and it's, if it's stylish, I'm like, yo, I, I, I'm down with it. What do you think, Save Mom? it. So vote, would you trash these or would you treasure these? I think I could redesign them and repurpose them. You can scratch your body too. You could use it as a back scratcher. Yeah. You're when, genius! When you take a shower, when you get mad at him, think about him, you scratch harder. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend she didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Who here knows what a tchotchke is? This is a tchotchke. Something that has no purpose in the house, and in this case makes a lot of freaking noise. We bought it at a flea market. I'm fresh, saucy, and slamming. Like, this is not me. I don't think I should keep this. Keep that. That's antique, pilot. I like it. It's that. not antique, Mom. For all we know, this could have been made in China and just put in a farmer's market. Whatever, I take that. Trash or treasure? There's no point to this, why? Oh, you put it outside for the wind. There's no wind that's gonna move this. No, we're gonna trash this. I'm not even asking for your vote. This is, bye, gone. Ever. Oh my God. I have a lot of great friends who gift me things. I have learned that you don't always have to keep the things your friends gift. I don't smoke cigars. These teeth are trying to stay nice and white. This is not cute in any scenario. It's not, I, there's nothing, no. I don't want this, so. You can put the earring and necklace, everything. You can use it. Well, you, you can, can also put it. your necklace and earrings in like a nice jar, like a, like That's a nice pretty. one too, decoration. This is not nice, this is tacky, mom. That's because you don't like it. Do you like it? I do like it. You're lying. You never looked at this before today. You can put the candle over there, put the candle inside, you can burn. I, think Mom, about there's burning. a lot of things we're gonna burn here on this table. We're gonna start tonight. This is gonna be one of them. Trash. Get you're it. not perfect anyway. What do you what? think about your fake hair? Whatever, extension, oh everywhere you put it. Look at look at your wig, see? Because I shoot a lot, you I lose have- my appetite. Mom! Anytime I start eating dinner, you take it up, you take it up, you put everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I wear extensions because I don't like to damage my hair. So, when I come home from work, the clips hurt so bad and they give me headaches that I take them off and I put them around the house, but that doesn't mean that you have to get into it. You look like a horse, you know what I mean? <laughs> horse hair. Mom, I'm busy and I work a lot and I need a place to organize myself. So yes, she's right. I do need a nice area to set aside things like my extensions. Change everything for you. You know what I mean? No, I don't understand what you're okay. saying. Okay, you try to make up everything look nice and neat, you know, you don't like this one, ugly, everything good. But even you, you have to change yourself too. Yes, I do. So I agree with you there. Another thing I really want to get rid of, Mom, Get rid of me or I get rid of you. No, I don't Which want one? To get rid of you. What the hell are you talking about? I don't want to get rid of you, not just yet. <laughs> but I do want to get rid of this couch. This couch bothers me so much because it's so heavy. I'm a bright, colorful person. I'm not an old brown couch. Honestly, when I was married, I bought things that reflected more of what he would like. I'm a more California girl. He moved here to be with me. I thought cover the place with rustic things and woodsy things and masculine colors and that's not who I am. This couch has to go. You agreed. I agreed to put the cover, buy the cover, put it on, save it. Mama Mai thinks we should keep the couch and put a cover on it. I think we should get rid of the couch altogether and put a whole new shape, maybe two love seats that are facing each other. What do you think? Oh my goodness. That's the ugly one I never see. Where you put it in the corner? So this, who gave you this one? This, my sweet friend gave me this Christmas tree. Oh my God, it stinks. My job was to water it once a week in order to keep it alive and I returned. Throw it away, keep the ball. Keep the ball we can use for the present. This, this is my present, we give to somebody else. We're you not keeping the ball. Mom, we're not keeping anything. 
That's a nice bowl. Mom, don't save anything. That's disgusting. As I'm trying to tell my mom to get rid of things, to not hoard, I'm noticing that my mom is wearing the socks that she got for free from the airport when we the last went to Saudi Arabia. We went on Emirates, first class to Saudi Arabia, and she's wearing the socks from the airplane. Like, this is who we're not listening to, so don't take advice from her when she says to treasure things. That's why you save money. Now the whole point of spouse cleaning is to just refresh, rejuvenate, start new, right? And I wanna make room for my new life and also things that are important to me. Things that I've gotten over the past few years, like my Emmy that I won with the Girls of the Real. I help you to hold it. Thank you, Mom. Yes. Um, and also things like awards that I've gotten for my work within human trafficking and just different things that I've done in the community. These are things that I have scattered around the house. And not to say that this is um, not important, it's just that I don't have a place for it. So part of spouse cleaning is finding a place for the things that mean a lot to me, like my mom. Put in fireplace. Huh? Put this one in the fireplace. It's nice, decoration. A decoration for you don't worry. You're not decorating for me. Let me know what colors come to mind when it comes to redecorating. And also, if you're going through the same thing, please upload pictures. Don't make me feel like this by myself. I'll be honest, I'm so happy. As soon when she's holding this one, I cry already because it's not easy to get the thing like this. Now, put on Facebook, I show all my friends. All my people say, congratulations, mama, my, your daughter, your daughter, blah, 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 blah. I'm so happy. You are, mom? I do, I'm very proud Thank of you. Thank you, mom, really? Yes, I am. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Ever since I got the Emmy, she uses me everywhere she goes in order to get discounts. I'm so proud about it when I show her Instagram. My daughter beautiful, and she's... Why did you pause? Because I'm thinking different way. She's cute, and then very smart girl. That's how I'm very proud of her. That's all. <laughs> Whatever. I have a lot of work to do. You've seen some of the things that I have to get rid of. I can't wait to hear what you think of the things that I've already pointed out. Right, Mom? So, yeah, give us more comments so we can take her go to Ross and shop more. Okay? Maybe one of the stores I'll shop at, yes. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe for more episodes. Thank you, goodbye. Bye.